There was a festive farewell in Perth this morning for 45 athletes who were headed for the Commonwealth Games in Delhi. But amid the celebrations, officials voiced concern that athletes were not taking the threat of tropical diseases in India seriously enough. Dozens of athletes took a break from training for a colourful send-off. Kookaburra star Fergus Kavanagh says he's bracing himself for the hot and humid conditions along with the pressure of competing. So expectations will be high and uh, I think it's going to be a tough event. England are very strong, Pakistan, India. But he's not at all worried about the threat of dengue fever and that's a worry for the Australian Commonwealth Games Association. That's probably my greatest fear is, uh, is uh, the athletes will not do what they need to do to make sure they don't get dinghy fever and they also don't get sick. He says more doctors than ever before will accompany the team, but there's a limit to what they can do. We're taking a, a, a mosquito repellent, uh, the strongest we can find for that sort of thing. We're talk, taking you know, uh, zappers for the rooms. We're taking everything we can. But at the end of the day, the athletes have to put it on. You can't have a vaccination for dengue, so we're really going to stress it over there. Swimmer Blair Evans says she's not fearing a potential outbreak. I don't know, I haven't really heard much about it, so I'm not really worried at the moment, but I think Swimming Australia will do the right measurements to ensure that we're safe. The first Australian competitors are expected to arrive in the Athletes' Village within the next fortnight for the start of the Games on the 3rd of October. Veronica Buck, ABC News.